Good morning and welcome to a day in the British Virgin Islands. As you can see, this is absolute paradise on earth and it is one of my favorite places in the world. Last week, you guys helped me pick out a bucket list for the British Virgin Islands that I'll put right here for you to see. And today it is my mission to give you a tour of the best beach here. This beach is honestly insane. It is my absolute favorite place to go here in the British Virgin Islands. But today is going to be a day that you won't want to miss, so stick around. We have arrived at my favorite beach here in the BBI and the adventure begins with something called Crystal Kayak. It is now my job to get into this thing so that I can row myself to the beach and show you guys what the fuss is all about. Ha! That wasn't so hard. Bye! No! She was found at sea 10 years later. Welcome to the top beach in the British Virgin Islands, Savannah Bay. Every time I come here, I'm like, where are the people? There are no people. This is a hidden gem, I like to think, because now it's Easter weekend, so I was expecting it to be a lot more crowded than during COVID, but no. With its raw natural beauty and endless stretches of white sand, Savannah Bay really is a slice of heaven. This beach feels endless when you walk on it, but at the very, very end, there is a little sand hill. And every year I come here, I try to run up to see if I'm fit enough. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm getting old. I think I live here now. Yeah, safe to say this is my permanent home. This is where you'll find me. There are worse places to be. Okay, I have an idea. I've never done this one before, but what if now instead of running down, I slide down the hill? Fast and furious, guys. It's all about the speed here. I've got sand in my mouth. It's not great. It kind of feels like a massage. It's actually quite nice starting to like it. I'm gonna make this a daily thing. Just one of the reasons why this is my favorite beach here in the BBI. A drive through Virgin Gorda Island leads me to my next activity. The day continues with some tennis. I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but I often post how I play tennis back home. And I am super happy to have found a tennis court that only costs $10 per hour here in the BVI. This is Nail Bay Sports Club and it's in Virgin Gorda. So I'm really, really excited to play. I'm also not used to playing on this sort of uh, surface. So let's see how that goes. Wow, I am very, very tired after that hour. I think it's much harder to play in such humid temperatures than it is back home where it's a lot drier. And the most fantastic thing about this particular court is that it happens to be in the same complex as one of my personal favorite restaurants here in Virgin Gorda. Back on a boat, but this time things get serious as I'm about to do a last dive for a paddy license. With so much beauty and marine life to admire at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea, it was hard to concentrate on the tasks at hand, especially when we witnessed a rare green moray eel out in open water. 
my friend Elisa and I tried to replicate its graceful moves and we'll be expecting a call from the local synchronized swimming team anytime now. If we just did our last dives, does this mean that I now have my paddy license? That's a yes. Whoop! <laughs> paddy license done! And to end an already amazing day, I decided to show you my top place in the British Virgin Islands for some excellent food and of course, an epic sunset. Wow, what a day! Today was only meant to be for beach exploration, but it ended up being so, so, so much more. And I'm so grateful that I got to film everything and show you guys every step of the way. I am extremely proud of myself for getting the paddy license because it's not something that I planned on doing when I came here. And it's an experience that was so much better than what I had in mind. So yeah, I'm really, really proud of myself and really happy. And I just basically squealed like a little kid when I finally got the email with my little um, e-card with my little license on it. And unfortunately though, that meant that I spent three entire days just doing that and I didn't get to show you guys the baths, which is these amazing volcanic rock caves in the area. And I know that's something that you picked out on the bucket list activities for me to try. I promise that next time I'm here, which will hopefully be very soon, I will show you guys the baths. But in the meantime, please do leave a comment below and tell me which of today's activities you like the best. And also subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram to make sure you participate in the upcoming polls for bucket list activities that I'm gonna try in my future destinations. Thanks so much for watching, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time.